All right. So, a lot of this episode's going to be a post-recording. Uh, a common... A commentary? So... Oh, uh, gosh. I didn't realize until almost about 15 or so minutes into this that <laughs> I didn't have the mic turned on. Well, not even that. I, did, I didn't have the, the commentary button turned on. I thought I did. Anyway, um, I can't remember if this is actually when I was showing off the gastrodont. No, I think this was when I was saying I think I was going to have this as part of the team. I gave it bulldoze. I... It, it's... Hey, Gastron's a good Pokemon. I just... I don't know. <laughs> I, I, it's kind of one of those things. I, at this point of editing it, I've chosen a completely different Pokemon for the 16 mem... 6th... 6th... I can't even talk. Team member. Good grief. Um, <laughs> but I, I was giving him a shot and he's actually, he actually proved himself quite a bit a few times. So I think he, I like Gastrodon. The fact that it has recovers amazing. The problem was, is when I tried to, uh, like, do some breeding, it was not getting recover. It would get acid armor, but it wouldn't get recover. So uh, it was kind of annoying. Uh, I could do the move deleter on a whole lot of things. Uh, just if I'm looking for a specific move that I'm wanting to, and move sets that I'm wanting it, the, the shellos to have. But I don't know. It, it, it's just it's a thing, and we already have our other team member, so. It, it, it's all fine. But... <laughs> that's like two minutes of me talking about <laughs> this one Pokemon. Well, it, it's explaining why he's not. It, I, he's not going to be a team, team member. There's a lot of points where I thought he might be. I do like Gastrodon, but I, it just didn't work out. Um, there are... There's another... The, the Pokemon I picked is pretty versatile in what it's capable of, so... That would be the better option. That and the lower special attack from Gastron kind of makes it a little bit uh, kind of sad that that's the case of what's happening. But anyway, that being said, I should have been shown at this point. I don't really remember. Uh. I'm trying to look through this as I'm just commenting. I don't remember if... Okay. So pro uh, more than likely by this episode here, uh, there's... Hey, I've used some of the hard skills that I found to teach some of our team members uh, some moves that they didn't have access to previously. Uh, this tower here has an item that's pretty good if you want to grab it. That's why I'm running through it. I just avoided a bunch of the different uh, trainers. I only fought the ones that were absolutely necessary because I was just kind of not wanting to deal with it. <laughs> that I was trying to also keep my... Pokemon from being over leveled. <laughs> and that's continued to be a problem throughout the entire thing. And. Ah, gosh. I don't know. It, it, and it's not a problem. I wouldn't say it's a problem of this game specifically. It's a problem with the fact that you can't turn off the EXP share. And. There's so many required fights in this game, it's it, it makes it really simple to beat. 
Um, it, it's just a bit much, in my opinion. Uh, this tower is a bit of a weird one, <laughs> to say the least. Uh, there's not a whole lot that can be said other than this is like the uh, Pokemon uh, tower in the first game. That's basically a cemetery. It's the same thing here. Why uh, why the cemeteries for Pokemon are in towers? I don't know. It's weird. <laughs> but maybe that's the way they see of honoring people. I don't know. Alright. Uh, I will forget. I, I don't think that's the case uh, that anyone would be in of forgetting things that are dear to them. But... Yeah, I was wanting to make sure that I didn't run anything up on this floor. Uh, there's the two elderly women here. Uh, one of them gives you a spell tag which powers up ghost moves. Uh, this individual that I'm talking to gives you TMs. I forget which one it is. Let me see what she says. Strength. Okay, so that's actually how you get the uh, Pokatech uh, move. Uh, strength, which you will need, so you do want to make sure you come up and grab it. Um, other than that, there's not really much else. You can just peace out. I didn't think I could use an escape rope here, so I just ran back the way I came. Uh, so, it takes a hot minute. And unfortunately, since I had Gastrodon in the front, I could still run into fights because there were Pokemon that were level 19. Which would be a good a good fight for him. I just didn't want to deal with it, because it's just like uh, Zubats and all that. I'm not really wanting to do that fight. Because it, it's not his wheelhouse, really. And it, initially I thought, it, oh well, the thing went out and I didn't actually use it. I did. <laughs> so. It was just because it was the same level. And yes, I do. <laughs> I just wait for him to change his, uh, to where he's looking. Something else I found out, it'll probably give more of a date of when I'm doing this editing, but in the most recent recording I was trying to look at different Pokemon and what I could have as that 16 member. Uh, a lot of the Pokemon that I was looking at I couldn't grab until post-game, uh, and it was just ridiculous. <laughs> so I just went with the, la the Pokemon I ended up picking. It, one of them, I was looking at doing an Eevee and having one of the evolutions, uh, probably like Vaporeon, so it could have water and ice coverage, um, but there was nowhere for me to find an Eevee until post-game. I haven't checked yet, but I, I think it's just a platinum thing where Bebe gives you an Eevee. Um, I'm gonna double check it. I didn't, like just do that off screen, but more than likely that's just what it is. Is that eh, you don't have an option in that. Um, the other one was a Ralts, and I was looking at trying to get a female, oh not female, a male Ralts so I could evolve it to a Gallade so I could have a fighter and a psychic type to cover that aspect. Um, but you can't catch a Ralts unless it was in the underground and I just, so I did look and I just couldn't find any. So 
the one that we did catch had lower special defense and higher special attack, which isn't good for a Gallade. So, unfortunately, that did not work. Um, and I don't have another way to actually uh, breed for a it, Ralts because I don't have a Ditto and I don't have another female Ralts. So, <laughs> stuck between a heart rock, eh, rock and a hard place for that. Um, and looking through the underground, I didn't see it anymore, so I don't know if that was uh, level restricted or what exactly as to why Ralts, I couldn't find a Ralts anymore. It might have just been places I was looking, at, but I thought I was choosing the ones that you could find the psychic types in, so... Who knows? <laughs> um, that being said, uh, there's not a whole lot that I... And this is this part of the game, and this is post uh, Gym 3. Uh, I genuinely don't really care for this part of the game. Because they have you go to Veilstone, then they have you go to... go. It, you can't go from Hawthorne to the town in the south. You have to go through Veilstone and go through that route specifically to get to the... Um, I think it's called Pastoria City to do... Uh, the fourth gym and you have the great marsh and everything there and then <laughs> you can do the hawthorne city gym and it's just like it makes no sense why they they just didn't give it the platinum treatment in the, the remakes i don't know i think it's absolutely stupid <laughs> And they didn't fix the Hawthorne gym, it, Hawthorne gym either. It's the the original Pearl and Diamond version of it, which it, <laughs> that episode is me just complaining about the whole thing. <laughs> the fact that that gym is like that, because I didn't like it at all. Golly. Um. Also. Wanted to make sure I grabbed Fly real quick to make things easier. Because I completely forgotten that's where you got Fly. And just this makes it so much easier. Here, little kid to boot. Those things we made with the energy we took from the Veilstone Windworks are already in Pastoria City. Huh? That's not what this is about? <laughs> no. Also, I was making a comment about the window and how it looked like a safe. I, I'm just saying it. It looks it, just from the angle that you have. It just looks like that. I guess the hinge on the window looks like uh, the the handle for a, a safe. It's kind of weird. But since we have the third or uh, gems uh, badge, we can fly, which makes it incredibly easy to get where we need to go. Um. I was going to Floroma Town or something, I forget what. Uh, maybe to do some of the berry stuff. Yeah. Because I, I eventually did end up making ball capsules for most of the team. Uh, our little friend here that's following us, Gasloom, does not have a ball capsule yet. <laughs> It's so sad. I feel bad for him, but I keep I can't find anything that makes a good ball capsule for him. And if, I I want if I gave him one, I wanted it to be good. I wanted it to be something that expressed him. So, and it's just been a thing. But yeah, I, I've been trying to do a lot of berry stuff off screen, so. I, there's no constant on-screen berry stuff because good grief, going through all the berry stuff is just—it's it, a lot. 
But anyway, um, coming close to the time I noticed that uh, that my recording audio is not happening. So I will leave you to the present version of me talking, or kind of whatever. You get the point. Hi. <laughs> I'm going to have to do voiceover for the first part of this episode. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just realized, hey, hey I, I just happened to look over at the um, recording and noticed that my voice was not being recorded. I wonder why that is. Oh, but my mic was off. <laughs> Golly. All right. So... I'm gonna have to make a, a note of that. <laughs> so, I, if I don't, I'm gonna forget it. I mean, we did so much, I'm not gonna just say, never mind, redo this episode. Kinda late at this point with all that we did. Um. First, have... there. so hopefully that won't be too bad. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. It, you guys probably won't. It, you won't know the difference, but I, I feel terrible. I was sitting here talking about random stuff that I not ever gonna know what it was i certainly won't remember it um <laughs> oh boy all right uh yeah we can get a couple of those uh star stickers Yeah, I'm gonna get a burning sticker. A uh, leaf sticker. Stone, cool. That, that takes all the nana berries that I've got. Get two of those. Get a couple of song stickers. Get a couple of fire stickers. Get a party sticker. All right, so we're good there. Um, so let's fly again. <laughs> Style shop. I don't. How much money do I have? I, I just want to dump this outfit. I really do. Uh, it's a decent amount. Flying strength. Uh, what other do you want? I don't want to see. And as I figured, none of my Pokemon can learn it. Pony <sighs> Stone. Cleanse Tag. Pokeballs that we've got. Okay, so. It's not poke. Fly. Or flying to Pastoria. 
So, I didn't mention this, but it, it was... I might actually cut some of those, the, the, the Pokemon battles out. I don't know. So, in this town there is a person that will take the heart skills that you get in the underground and will use them to help your Pokemon remember moves. He's a move tutor. Uh, it's this guy right here. Uh, I did this previously before the episode started, and I went through each one of their move sets of our team members, and I'm not sure. I, I, he, he's kind of on probation right now. I'm not, or he's in tryouts, I should say, not probation. Uh, he's in tryouts to see if I want him to be a part of the team. I, I know I need a water type. Definitely needed. So, he probably is. He'll just be a little bit weaker on his special attacks. However, Gasloon has a little bit of a change in his abilities uh, as far as what he can, he's capable of. I gave him Sap Strength. So he can heal himself as well as lower his opponent's special, well, just his, their attack, and he can heal himself and also with stockpile, it's extremely good combo there. Uh, very useful. It's one of his uh, really low, at like level zero moves that you'd ha you have to have a hard scale to get it. So decided to give him that. Uh, Xylobat's the same. Although there is a move I'm wanting to teach him, I just want this specific move for when we run into certain Pokemon that are going to run away as soon as we see them, and I want to be able to have a fight with them so we can catch them. That's the point of that. However, I don't know <laughs> if Xylobat's the best option for it, because both of them are psychic. But... <laughs> Oh boy, that's gonna be a fight. Uh, it it might be a little bit of a wash. I'm not entirely sure, but it's something to keep in mind. Adamantry, I taught him Wood Hammer instead of having the uh, Razor Leaf. A Wood Hammer is extremely powerful, but it does have really bad recoil. But it, he's someone that's not gonna get hit hurt too bad and I think Woodhammer it's gonna be one of those moves that it's like okay you're gone and having Leech Seed helps offset that a little bit so we're good there uh, Cerberus has not changed I, I checked the move set there isn't that much that I would have given him if I didn't f uh, if they weren't selling flamethrower I would have taught him Inferno which is one of his level zero moves, but it's also the one of the last moves he learns, so... Okay. Uh, I didn't really bother with it after that. Uh, now, Miss Sparkles is the one that is the most different. I, well, yeah, technically, yeah. Uh, she no longer has Bite. I gave her Iron Tail, uh, just so she could have something that's... Because we had a lot of dark moves. We have Cerberus, well, at the time. We had Cerberus and we had Adam Entry uh, with both of those moves. And Cerberus can still do a good amount of damage regardless, but we don't have any coverage from stuff that Steel can do damage to. And so I thought giving her that would be good. I switched uh, Charge to Electric Turing, which is one of her level zero moves. Uh, so it does. She doesn't get the boost in special defense anymore, but it, it affects every Pokemon. All electric moves are going to get powered up, and no one gets put to sleep. So I say goodbye to Sing. <laughs> so and it it could be. I, I think it could be useful. Um, would help power up spark and volt switch and you don't have to use a charge and then the move that's why i went with it but i don't know if there's a move that gastrodon can learn also these are some of the shellos that 
were in the tryouts of what I could do. They all had the same move set, but and some of them even had the same natures, but it's, it, they can't, it didn't work out. Uh, <laughs> it was kind of sad. Oh man, that's really just nothing. Yeah, give up. Uh, all right. Having that recover, though, is incredibly important. That's why I was like, I need this! Alright. Well. I feel bad because most of my commentary this episode is completely gone. <laughs> I'm gonna, when I re-record that, but I don't, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Anyway. <laughs> we'll see. Thank you all for watching, and in the next one we'll actually go into the Great Marsh. Because hey, there's a couple things we need in there. Uh, one of them's an HM. Well, TM, but one of the hip moves. Uh, that's going to be incredibly needed. And, well, you don't have to have it, it's just really useful. And a couple of items that are pretty good in here. So, I'll see you guys later. Later.